Good afternoon, everybody. It is December 2nd, 2011. It's 3.53 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Savings Time. And I just wanted to play this video for you about this uh, bill that was passed called S-1867, which is pretty disturbing. I'm going to show you here a little bit of a video with Senator uh, Paul. And Under the provisions, would it be possible that an American citizen then could be declared an enemy combatant and sent to Guantanamo Bay and detained indefinitely? I think that as long as that uh, individual, uh, no matter who they are, if they pose a threat to the security of the United States of America, should not be allowed to continue that threat. No good and well that someday there could be a government in power that is shipping its citizens off for disagreements. There are laws on the books now that characterize who might be a terrorist. Someone missing fingers on their hands is a suspect, according to the Department of Justice. Someone who has guns, someone who has ammunition that is weatherproofed, someone who has more than seven days of food in their house, can be considered a potential terrorist. If you are suspected by these activities, do you want to have the government have the ability to send you to Guantanamo Bay for indefinite detention? A suspect, we're not talking about someone who has been tried and found guilty. We're talking about someone suspected of activities. But some of the things that make you suspicious of terrorism are having food, having more than seven days of food, missing fingers on your hand, having ammunition, having weatherproofed ammunition, having several guns at your house. Is that enough? Are you willing to sacrifice your freedom for liberty? I would argue that we should strike these detainee provisions from this bill because we are giving up our liberty. We are giving up our the constitutional right to have due process before we're sent to a prison. This is very important. I think this is a constitutional liberty we should not look at and uh, blindly sign away to the executive power or to the military. So I would call for support of the amendment that will strike the provisions on keeping detainees indefinitely, particularly the fact that we could now for the first time send American citizens to prisons abroad. I think that is a grave danger to our constitutional liberty and I advise a vote to strike these provisions from the bill. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield. No, isn't that just a little bit disturbing? You can Google and uh, investigate the document yourself called S-1867. I also wanted to show you, and I want to thank Peaceful Patriots for mirroring this, as I can see from user 1111111 Revenge. Anyway, I also wanted to show you quick here that you can go to the ACLU site, and it does give you some information about exactly what this whole deal is. They also provide you a page here on the ACLU site, and I'll link these, uh, I'll put these links below where you can go and fill out a form here, <coughs> excuse me, where there is a, a, a Feinstein amendment that is being drawn up that you can urge your senators to vote on, um, that they, you know, make amendments to this uh, S-1867. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, bring all that to your guys' attention, and I hope that you have a really great day.